Hello there, what's going on everybody? Today we're doing something kind of cool and maybe a little different than what I normally do. But uh, the guys over at LV427designs uh, showed me this new software that they have and they have it available. If you go to their website, you can find the mapping software link and it's gonna take you to uh, Dungeon Print, uh, Dungeon Print Studio, where you can actually like design your own uh, interior, bunker, warehouse, Star Destroyer interior, uh, dungeon, whatever. Uh, and you can use all the LV427 stuff. So if you were thinking of you know, ordering some stuff that is printed, or if you wanted to just download some STL files, but you're just really not sure how everything's gonna map out, you can kind of use this software uh, ahead of time and you kind of map out what you're looking for. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna run you guys through it a little bit. And uh, also, if you are new here, there's still time left to win to, to win the uh, $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You just have to be a subscriber, and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Now you may have seen some of my reviews for some of this terrain. It's, it is pretty cool stuff. And so if you mouse over it or over here on the top left, you are going to see all of the, uh, you know, like the, like a kind of a quick little 3D preview of it. So like I'll I'll start out with like one of these and I'll bring it up into the corner right here, right? All right, and then and when you place something, it's going to uh, it's going to give you. And I I can use the W S A D, and I'm just going to use your mouse. Uh, and let's let's place another one. This will be a straight one right here, and. You know, there we go. And if you place something in the wrong spot, like if I placed that there, I'm like, oh no, I can click on it and I can come right here and I can delete it, all right? So so that's that much is pretty good. And I click back over here and let's see, uh, we'll do a four way right there, right? Whoop, whoop, there we go. All right, and I don't want that one anymore. Uh, all right, so then I'll uh, we'll close out of that. All right, no, no. All right, now, we can move around a little bit with, I'm just gonna use my mouse wheel. And so we can kind of get a nice little bird's eye view of stuff like this. And if you'll notice uh, that I've only got the corridors available. I don't have any of the rooms right now. Well, you have to go up to the starter set. Now you have to be logged in. You have to create an account. I created an account, I logged in. And now I have everything else available right here. So I can go into maybe small rooms, media, uh, the hangar bay, elevators, ventilation shafts. You can, and, you, and this is a great way to get like a really close up look at a lot of these and see how they're going to look. So I'm gonna go into large rooms cause I wanna, I wanna check out a large room. I'm just gonna load them all in and oh, this is cool. And so now I can see like a little preview of all the different large rooms, which is really sweet. I like this. And, and this is fun. Now, now this is pretty cool because now one thing I don't want to point out, like something like this, the circular meeting room, right? I've done a review on this one. Um, you can actually build this one slightly differently too. You don't have to have both doors right next to each other. You can, you can actually like build uh, one of the doors like in the back and one in the front and stuff like that. So you have a little more flexibility even than, than this, but this is pretty cool. So I want to go, let's see if I can go down to right there. Oh, oh, I gotta, did I lose it? Oh, there it is. Is that good? Did I line it up? I did, I lined it up just right. Very cool. So now, maybe I want that other door, right? You walk down the hallway into the, the corridor. And this is also something really cool that you can use to plan out your RPG stuff. If you are running uh, a role-playing game, and you want to plan out your corridors or your interior stuff, you can do this. You could even come in here and get used to this. You could probably take some screenshots of it, although the, like, the resolution is not super high, but like you could do, do, take some screenshots and try to get some ideas, run it by people, um, or just save them some, you know, get some ideas planned out for... Uh, I, I like the idea of just brainstorming and kind of looking at it, you know, like if, especially if, you're gonna, if you need to make a purchase and you're really not sure what you're going to do. Um, it's kind of a cool idea to, to, you know, to get comfortable with it and say like, do I really like the way that that looks? Let's try this one. Oh, uh-oh, let me click on it. Uh, instead of deleting it, I wanna move it. There we go, and I can mouse wheel it up to change it. There we go, boom. So look, the other part of the, oh, it's, it's leading into there. And now, oh, well, let's go back into corridors. I want some more corridors now. Uh, I want the straight corridor right here. There we go. And I'm just using the mouse wheel to rotate it. Um, and now I want a three-way corridor. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. No, wait, that's a that's a two-way. No, there, that's a three-way. I want the door on the... Let me use the middle mouse wheel, press it. All right, yeah, I want it like... Perfect. Done. Oh, wait, nope, nope. 
move. Ah, I put the door the other way. That's how I want it, right? Oh, when I took it off, it reset. Okay, perfect. Just like that. Um, let's do let's do another one over here. And I want uh, I want it just like that. Line it up first, and then all right. So now it's going to circle around back right there, and I can put. Let's do for let's let's try some small rooms. What kind of small rooms do we got here? We got oh boarding pond, crew quarters, a medical bay. Let's put a medical bay over here. There we go. There we go. Now, now this is isolated, right? And the cool thing about this too is you don't even have to do a full interior thing. You could do like a, a partial inside, partial outside map. You know, and I've seen some people do some things like that. It looks really cool. A lot of people have been posting pictures in the Star Wars Legion Facebook of uh, a lot of the different types of terrain that they've been doing, uh, and that's and that's really cool. Oh, look at this! Different corridors too. Oh yeah, I like that. Whoop. I want. There we go. Perfect. And let's go back to corridors. I want to do, and there's different types of corridors. You don't even have to go with the standard corridors. That's just what I'm doing right here. You know, look at that boom. And let's say I want to bring this one out a little bit more. Like as I as I build closer to the edge, it extends it. Look at that. And it just extends it, and it and it's kind of smart too, because if I align this straight corridor up, it's just gonna go. Boom. All right. So now let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to zoom out. I can kind of see everything right there. And then I can use WSAD to just kind of step left and right or down and up. So that's also really nice. Oh, let's try. Let's try the uh, let's try the cargo bay. I haven't tried the cargo bay yet. All right. And the cargo bay is so big that you have to do individual pieces, right? So. Um, oh, that's one door. That's another door. Da, da. All right. Um, oh, wow, this is cool. Uh, let's try, or the hangar bay. Let's. I want to do the hangar bay instead. Yeah, I like that. Doot doot. All right. Come on, we gotta you gotta align it there. You gotta all right. There we go. And then mouse wheel done. All right, we got that door done. Then I want this one, just like that. I want the other one. Do do do. I gotta find it here. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Oh, oh, see, I didn't align that one right. Yeah, it's it's off, and if you go straight overhead, you can see it's off by a whole grid square. So I'll click that, and I'll say move, and there we go, perfect. All right, so I got my three by three, the start of our hangar bay. I can put like a middle piece in there, just like that, and uh, and to the side, uh, right there, and then right there. And, and we could extend this too, because like the one that I have is, um, is a three by three, but I could make this like a four by three or a five by three. I could make it really big. Let's, let's, let's do it. Why not? Boom. And then another, there we go. I'll just do a four by three for right now. So you get the, you get the ideas. You can, you can do as many as you want. Boom. Oh yeah, yeah, that's really cool. And I can do some more hallways back here. This is so I could honestly I could sit here and play with this for a long, long time. But I'm gonna finish up the cargo bay and then um, you know, kind of then 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 or the hangar bay I should say. And this is the the end. We've got those pieces. We've got oh and we also have a like a, a side door too, the expansion doorway. If I wanted there to be like a sideways door, which is really, really cool. All right, this is the the exit. Um, whoop, all right, let's go right there. No, 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 move. Move it. There it goes, and then the other corner. 
If I can find the other corner. Is that this one? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, no. This one. There it is. Turn, turn. All right. A little bit of a, there's, I'd say there's a little bit of a learning curve in here, but if you can get it, I'm probably not at the right angle. But I could easily, I have to see if, if, if you could do this from work, if you can do this on your work computer, uh, I could see you getting lost and just like spending hours and hours and hours. You know, I won't say anything if you don't. Uh, yeah. And then. And then, of course, we got to have our hallways behind. And then, right there. No, no, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. Dog on it. Move it. Perfect. I love it. So we've got our little doorway in and and then there's all kinds of other stuff on here too for different stuff. You can look you do medieval stuff as well. Uh but yeah, no like I, but the LV427 designs is there what you're what you're really looking at. Anyway, uh, I, I spent a whole lot of time looking at this thing, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I probably spent more time than I than I needed to just to show you guys what you can build here. And 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 there's also ways where you can like click on stuff and it'll take you straight to where you want to buy it. Uh, but but definitely check out the software; it's free to use. Uh, if you want to have access to all the tiles, you just have to create a free account um, and uh, then just log in and and do it. So very cool stuff. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And I'll put a link in the description below. All right, you guys, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And thanks to LV427 for uh, having sent me some terrain to review. And uh, also, you know, for putting this cool app up here that you guys can all play around with. All right, that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Could not do this without you. So thank you so much. And as always, have a great day.